Okay, everyone, so I'm playing Demon Peace, and it's finally time for me to leave Baratie and go to the next uh, next island, and that is going to be Sandora. So I'm going to go ahead, track Sandora using my quest tracker, and as you can see there, that is Sandora right there. So I am going to go ahead and start using my um, spin flight to go to Sandora. Goodbye, one and only... Baratie and hello Sandora. From the looks of the distance, it looks like Sandora is going to be really far away from me. So cross my finger if my stamina goes all the way down. I need to stop in one of the islands on the way to make sure that I don't fall off the water and die because water kills me. Yes, because I have a devil fruit that I'm using right now to be able to go to that place there. So yeah, I'm gonna die if I hit water, so I need to be careful by a lot. And I can see that there's an island there. I think that's the orange town actually but we're going straight forward we still have 800 stamina on me so for sure that will reach my destination hopefully crossing my finger okay i'm crossing my finger in hopes that i actually do go to that island and not die at the same time you know there is Orange Town right there. Let's go straight forward. Let's ignore Orange Town and just go to Sandora itself. From what I've seen on the picture of what Sandora looks like, it is, it's kind of looking like a sand kind of island. Meaning that we're here at Dressrosa, okay? So that means we're going to fight some... Uh, Desert King, which is Crocodile, and we're also going to fight with, not really fight, but we're going to probably find a quest giver, which has the name of Vivi, which is Vivian. So we can kind of already see the place. It is gigantic. It's bigger than the previous island we was in, which was Barati. It's bigger than orange town itself but not as big as of course the first island hopefully but kind of looks like it is bigger than the windmill village not gonna lie but uh, i have 453 stamina left and it looks like I, ooh, there's, ah, okay. So this place has a little bit of that ambience. Okay, okay. So now that I'm here, I can go ahead and just, you know, go to one of the set homes. Set my home here so I don't die nonchalantly. And then we can find some quest givers, some uh, chests. So we got the shipwreck guy, which I no longer use. There's um, knives here from it looks like, but this is where like cooking places, I guess, where this is where you uh, cook and all that stuff. Here's some de uh, demon fruits chop. Here is some ooh quest givers. Here is the tracker for the um, hold up for the quest right here. There's a chest under there and. Yeah, this place looking be looks like really good. There's even like uh, how do you say this? A ladders to go up if you don't have any moves that allows you to be like be able to get up here, which is dumb in my opinion. You should be able to get up there in some other more ways, I guess. But uh, a demon fruit is going to like help you by a lot, which is a ton. Over here, we're gonna fight some opponents. Over here, we got more opponents or enemies. And from the looks of it, these pillars doesn't really help much. They don't have anything like chests or anything like that. Which Oh, there is. Like this two here. There's chest over there. Um, I'm like looking around trying to find some chests. Probably some stuff that is really useful. Like chests or NPCs or... Uh, yeah, just general chests, NPCs or enemies. So I can later on think about what kind of things i need to do here we are at alabasta which you can check around look around and see if there's anything dope and cool to even look at so here is the castle from what it looks like and i don't think there's a very interactive castle is it it is it is a very interactive castle that's the desert king right there okay 
So now that we know that was a very interactive castle, let's go around look a little bit more. Let's use my spin flight because we already know spin flight is pretty useful, okay? Oh, there's chest over here inside that lookout kind of place. There's more, you know, sands, more palm trees because this is pretty much a sand kind of valley island. So they need a little bit of palm trees because beach, you know, because sand. There's more chests around here, some places, and that there, of course, at the top of the building. There's a lot of chests in a lot of random places. Here are some of our demon fruit shop. So apparently this is not the only place that you can get yourself demon fruits. Here we have more quests which you can do, which is Shady Man. And right over here, we're gonna go down. Oh, we got this! Oh my god, that is a lizard. That's a gigantic ass lizard, by the way. And that gigantic lizard is using some kind of tornado-ish kind of thing. Do I deal damage? I, no, it's not. It's only for visuals, I guess. But that is the uh, boss there. Here we have some other more stuff. We got some sand pirates, which you can fight with if you want to. And yeah, more chest. And I really want to see if there's like NPCs like that gives you some things. Like a uh, sword and all that stuff. Because I know there's a lot of more NPCs here, but they're quite hidden, if I say so myself. But let's see here, there should be um, Fresh that gives you Buso Hockey and you got Merchant of the West, which is just another merchant. And from the looks of it, he is stamped on one of the buildings here, but I don't particularly see him. So I have to go around the whole place and try to find him as well. Hopefully I will be able to find him. But in this video, I was only supposed to like go around and show you a little piece of the place and you know kind of like show off things that might interest, in, uh, interest you in some points but for now that is pretty much it for this video if you have any questions go ahead and ask me any question is available i cannot wait to grind on sandora and have a little bit of fun but that's it thanks for watching and goodbye